I wanted to show this here. This, if you make a 10 foot by five foot section on the right of your driveway, like this, one, the uh, mail person can come and deliver the mail easier, which you're supposed to clear that up. And two, when the plow comes and they come down here with all their buildup of snow, all the buildup gets released here before it gets to your driveway. So you'll, you'll never get blocked in on your driveway if you shovel at least 10 by five of a section right to the right of your driveway. Man, these days go by quick now. It gets dark so quick. I had a long, busy day running around trying to get ready for tomorrow's snowstorm or tonight's, I should say. It's already snowing and it's five o'clock. Uh, but um, I just wanna say how important and how critical it is to have a great relationship with a dealer. Preferably the closest dealer to you but even if it's not, if you have to travel a little ways to get to a dealer that's worth it, then it's worth it. Because when you're in a bind like I was today, you're going to be so thankful that you have a relationship with your dealer. Unfortunately, I waited to the last minute to purchase a snow thrower. You know what I mean? I pretty much made up my mind that if you know whenever if and when our first significant snowstorm was predicted that i was just going to go ahead and break the ice no pun intended and just get right into it and start doing snow removal you know on a small scale you know i'm not going to get a plow or anything at this point for my truck just just clearing my uh client my regular weekly clients driveways and walkways just getting all that clear you know and making some extra money and keeping their driveways clean and safe um, just because it just seems like missed opportunities you know and I'm at the point now my business and uh, financially that I can invest in some of that equipment that will last me from years to come and it will be all profit at that point and you know I made sure that I had enough coming in this winter the first snowstorm to pay off you know most if not all of the equipment that I need for you know the snow removal like snow thrower and um, you know I, I got a I got a carrier with a ramp um, hitch to attach to my truck that has my snow thrower on it I just you know it, it's it's it was something that I just wanted to start doing this year I mean I think about it every year because we do get snow here in Richmond Virginia just not enough to buy a plow and get all into it unless I'm gonna go after commercial properties with parking lots and things like that and that's not something I want to do right now either so I'm just starting to work my way into snow removal just like with you know with lawn mowing when I first started or when anyone first starts you, a lot of times you're gonna start off small and work your way up and build from there. So I'm going with my maintenance clients and working with them and um, uh, I just have several different key things that I had in place, making sure that I had clients already signed up in advance so that I knew I was gonna make the money back in one season so I'm not in debt for very long and then it's all profit after that. Um, and also just doing the research like I did with the mowers before I got my grandstand and you know anything that I've done in my business I do a lot of research so today was a little different in that regard because what I wanted to get initially was uh, the Troy built flex that Lowe's sells just starting to think like a homeowner and I'm like wow I, you know let me get this Troy built flex get the, the snow thrower attachment for that in addition to the other attachments like the power washing attachment that it comes with the mowing attachment, these things will all come in handy around my house. Um, not that I'm gonna use those commercially, but I figured, you know, clear my driveway and clear my, my client's driveway with the snow thrower. But, you know, in hindsight, as we all know with residential equipment, or if we don't know yet, you will find out quickly that it breaks down after heavy use. You know, if you're using it on a commercial basis where you're doing dozens and dozens of properties with whatever it is, a mower, a snow thrower, trimmers, blowers, all these things are just gonna break down quickly um, versus getting the commercial units and, and spending the extra money because you're gonna save the money on the back end. 
by it not breaking down and having to get replaced all the time. But you know, everyone's business model is different, but that's just what I've learned along the way as well as I've heard that a lot also from, from my peers and other professionals in the industry. So that probably you know wasn't the, wouldn't have been the best for me to, to be using that for my clients anyway. So the, cho the choice was made for me because they were out of stock. Because again, I waited until towards the end of the week, you know, to to wait for the snowstorm to be like a sure thing. So I mean, it wasn't until literally like yesterday and really this morning that things became really concrete as far as how much snow we were or what range we were gonna be in of snow. So, I mean, we're not getting a ton. We're only slated for four to eight. And when they start picking the ranges and they're picking the four to eight range or more, that's when we know as, as Richmond, Virginia, as Central Virginia residents, we know that we're gonna get a decent amount of snow. So my dealer actually ordered a, like pallets of snow throwers yesterday from Toro. So that he, he ordered like a couple different models of all of his top sellers, actually three models, one homeowner one uh, Toro version and two commercial Toros, uh, the biggest one that they have and like the next level down. So they're not cheap, but they're also gonna be, you know, high quality and they're gonna get the job done. And that's what, so I was fortunate that they had one left of the smaller model, but this is a pretty, it, smaller meaning engine size the, the the machine itself is the same size but they had it and it was just about ready they finished it i had the ramp in my truck i didn't get to put it together and put it on yet but i needed to get the ramp i couldn't take the snow thrower home without the ramp so i had mentioned to him you know because uh, we were looking at it and he was like let me take a look at it let me look at the box and the measurements and make sure it'll fit and all this other stuff and it's a tight squeeze we've had to do some had to do some tricky things and I'm still going to be working on it and tweaking it and we'll figure it out. But the bottom line is I want to get it home and I want to be able to get these jobs done tomorrow and the rest I can just work with it as the season progresses. But this is what I really, the key point that I wanted to stress about critical relationships, you know, how important it is with your dealer because I mentioned to him that, you know, I'll pay for it now because there was no, there's no, no, no one else had snow throwers. So, and I love Toro, and this thing looked like a beast. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna spend more money than I planned on spending. But it's a much better snow thrower, and I just figured, you know what? Let me just go. Let me just do it, and then I don't have to worry about replacing it, and I'll be good to go. So I, I told him I'd pay for it, but I'll have to come back later in the day because I got to go home and fiddle around with this thing. I was like, oh man, just back it up. Just drive it down to the shop and back it up over there. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll help you put it together. What? Like talk about customer service. And it's not like they're not busy, but he took the time to get it done to help me get the ramp built and inst installed it. And then we got that snow thrower on there. I was like, I will be damned if I don't leave here without this snow thrower. And we made it work and he was determined as well. And uh, I just wanna say, and I told him, you guys are the king of customer service. So my dealer is Kanabi Outdoor Power in Midlothian, Virginia, off of Midlothian Turnpike. If you are in the surrounding area and you have anything that you need and you're not happy with your dealer your current dealer or you don't have a dealer yet um, or you just want to try an additional dealer Kanabi Outdoor Power is customer service kings that's all I have to say